Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. So today, we're going to talk about how you can pretty much speed up your fire stick, make it run faster, make your internet a little bit faster, hopefully stop that buffering, just make the whole process a bit better for you. So it's going to be some tips, some tricks, some things you may know, I guarantee there's probably something in there you don't know, so we'll do our best to try and make it work for you. Before we do that, if you can, do remember, come check out the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 350,000 subscribers. So if you're one of those, do comment underneath when you subscribe. Let us know when you subscribed, how long ago. And if you're new here, hit that button. And anybody who can hit that share really helps us out. So let's get straight into it. We're on our fire stick. And what we're going to check out is a few things to make things run a bit quicker, faster, smoother. First things we're going to do is we're going to pop over to our settings, okay? Get to your settings, go to um, network, get to network, and in here, select your internet, okay, and push the play button, okay? This is very crucial. To start straight away, let's check our internet status, see where we're running at. Mine is at five gigahertz, because I'm close enough to my router. We've got a signal strength of very good, quality of good connected to the internet. If you've got anything in here which doesn't say good, it says poor, or low, or anything like that, you need to reconsider moving your Fire Stick closer to your internet, okay? Most Fire Sticks are all wireless, so obviously behind your TV, it can have a lot of blockage. Um, too far away through different walls, everything like that, slow the device right down. So you need to have that good speed and good connection. Strength is crucial. Okay, other issues you may find when it comes to internet is if lots of people in your house while you are trying to watch TV are on other devices, tablets, Xboxes, TV, smart TVs, phones, all connected to the same router, absolutely knackers your bandwidth. So obviously that's a lot of interference all the way down to your Fire Stick again. So if you can get it closer, do. If you can move your router closer to it, do. Obviously there is OG cables so you can wire them in. We're gonna cover that on a later video so you can have a fully wired Fire Stick. Okay, so that will help your, well, we know your connection's good, and if it's not, fix it. Next up, have a little look at applications. Go to Manage Installed Applications, and on the side here, mine is a prime example of a bad run Fire Stick, okay? This Fire Stick we only use for install guides, so it's not so important, but 754 megabytes of free space available is not good enough. That is too much going on at once, so what we need to do is delete some apps, okay? You want at least one gigabyte at minimum spare. And I know we don't have a lot of storage on a Fire Stick, but you need at least one gigabyte spare. Um, a lot of this is, if you're watching a big movie, say, no matter what sort of um, software, you will need to download part of that film, or movie, or TV show, into your buffer, so as a temporary file, then you watch it, then it deletes itself. If you've got no storage, it's gonna freeze up because it can't download it all. Very important. So again, to delete anything, just find something you want to remove, as long as it's an um, app which isn't built into the Fire Stick. Select on it, click uninstall, job done. Obviously, do as many as them as you're not using them. There's no point in them being there, okay? So that would uninstall for us. Okay, next up, it's very important to check your internet speed and you are actually picking the correct streams and the correct items you need, okay? This isn't specifically for speeding up your Fire Stick, but it is a great tip for making your streams work. So in here, go to Find, go to Search, type in A, N, find it, A, and then go down to Analyti, okay? Analyti. This one is a speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. Again, on our first thing, it will tell you what your signal's like, how fast and what you can stream, okay? It's a guide, great guide. Get it installed, it's free. Then open it. Get it open. Again, this will tell you your download speeds and your upload speeds and let you know what you can do. So, here we go. For me, I can stream all the way up to 8K, apparently. Uh, 4K gaming, 4K Ultra HD, because I've got about 140 down, which is actually a bit slow for me today, so far. As you can see, best achieved on this device is 343. So we've got a lot going on in the house at the minute. And again, that tells you there what you can do. Okay, very important. No point trying to stream a 4K movie if you've got a really slow internet speed. Just not possible. Right, next up, over to your settings. 
my Fire TV about and check for updates okay very important to check for updates I've checked mine today you need to check for updates this will bring in tips tricks and fixes not really tips but fixes hot fixes if your fire sticks are running slow anything like that very important to get that done as well pretty much you've got to keep it up to date because it's got all your security fixes in there as well at the end of this video I will also show you an overall fix if you can't do it there's only one option to do and I'll tell you about that when we get there next up what you can do is an app called Virus Total. Get this installed. I've got a video underneath on how to do it. Okay, it's on my channel as well. So on my channel here, Fire Stick Warning, Virus and Malware. We want to check for viruses on our device because if there's malware running in the background or anything like that, or viruses running in the background, this will be using up your resources. This will slow up your device. This will pretty much loads of stuff running in the background. So you want to check this all for green ticks. Okay, if you've got any red ticks, delete it. Just delete it. So go into your applications, remove them. There's no fix for them. Remove them, go and find and find a better version of it. Mine are all green. No viruses. Again, another great tip. Right, last one before you, we give you the overall fix if nothing's working. Get into your settings. Preferences. There's a few things in here you can turn off. Feature content is one. Turn these off, okay? That will stop an advert playing at the beginning of your thing. Data monitoring, turn this off. And pretty much turn off anything in this one you're not interested in. There's a lot of processes running in the background from um, data monitoring, collecting that usage data, all of this stuff. Get it turned off. Again, we've got a video on deleting certain settings on the channel, so do check it out. Brilliant. There's other ones on the channel, guys. If you want a few other tips, do check it out. These are just some updated tips for you, which we wanted to remind you of. Some of you are new to us. Some of you are old to us. Some of you may have forgotten. And remember, if none of that works, you go to Settings. You go to My Fire TV. And you go to the bottom, Reset to Factory Defaults. Okay? Reset to Factory Defaults. You're going to have to reboot it. Obviously, you can try unplugging, plugging back in before you do that. Check that works. Leave it unplugged for 30 seconds, that sort of stuff. But overall, if nothing works, start again. Reset to factory settings. Get everything off there because something might have installed, which is a bit dodgy. Then load it back up again and go again. Brilliant. As always, I've been Doc Squiffy. Do check out the channel. Before we leave, we've got a great link underneath for a VPN. Again, a VPN may help speed up your Fire Stick as well for the connection. If your internet service provider is throttling you, this VPN at $3.75 a month may be the one for you. That is linked underneath as well. It also helps you with your online safety, helps you with data protection, powerful internet privacy, all that stuff. Check out the link as well. That's linked underneath. As well as we have links to my website for multiple different apps if you need them. Tips, tricks, tips, tools, all there. All on the site. Brilliant. My socials are linked underneath. Everything you may need. And I've been Doc Squiffy on the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.